Hello, everybody. My name is Van Potts with Preston Lane and Partners, and I wanted to spend a little bit of time and say it's International Merlot Day or National Merlot Day or was that yesterday or last week? I'm not exactly sure when it was, but it's a great opportunity to talk about a bridal that I think is very, very misunderstood and that people need to really understand and appreciate because at the end of the day, Merlot is a great wine, a great varietal. So why do people hate it anyway? Before we talk about Merlot, why do people hate Merlot? Or why do they think they hate Merlot? And the, the answer to that comes from a movie um, that was called Sideways, I think. And it was uh, 10 or 12 years ago. And if you remember, there were uh, two characters who were not particularly well, and they were heartbroken and forlorn and traveling around wine country. And towards the, the end of the movie, I think it was Miles, he put his stake in the ground and said, he wasn't drinking Merlot no matter what. And from there, the hatred of Merlot or the downward sales in Merlot really started to take place and happen. The irony in the whole thing was that when Miles was in the bar or in the restaurant and he was trying to connect up with the, the, the female, the woman in the, in the movie, she asked him what his favorite wine was. And he said Cheval Blanc, which is Merlot and Cab Franc. So... Uh, to this day, the, the creators and producers and directors and writers of the movie swear that there was no agenda and they were not trying to uh, make a joke on American wine consumers. But when you tell somebody your favorite wine is Cheval Blanc and that you don't like Merlot, you're not making a whole lot of sense in any way, shape or form. So Merlot is famous. It's been from the right bank in San Emilion and Pomerol for centuries. Uh, very, very delicious wine. As a matter of fact, two of the most expensive wines in the world are Merlot-based, or almost all Merlot, and that is Chateau Petrus and Chateau Le Pen. So anything you get from saint Emilion or um, Pomerol is going to be mostly Merlot-based. Here in the United States, great Merlot is grown everywhere. Napa, Sonoma, Washington, even Oregon, New York, Virginia, there are places where you can get some really, really great Merlot. So don't be afraid of it. Enjoy it. And I would also say that at the end of the day, my best tip I can offer, if you're out in a restaurant, especially if you're in a steakhouse or uh, someplace that sells a lot of red wine, get the Merlot because you're going to get more bang for your buck. You're going to save some money and you're going to have a delicious mouthful of wine. So until the next time, we'll catch up to you and see you again and enjoy your Merlot. Oh, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you can catch up and keep track of all the stuff we're talking about. It's a lot of fun. See ya. Oh, wait a second. I almost forgot. Shame on me. We sell some great Merlot. Don't forget to check out our great Merlots and find them all over the country. Uh, we sell Napa, Sonoma, anybody that makes Merlot, we're going to be selling. We even have one from Southwest France. Check us out and we'll see you the next time.